Hello everyone, this is Zion and welcome to my game guide where we guide you through the basics of the game. Today we're going to be focusing on the secret lot found in the Outdoor Retreat game pack. And first thing you need to do is go on vacation to your location in Outdoor Retreat, uh, which is Granite Falls. Uh, if you need to know how to do that or even build up a campsite, go ahead and look at my game guide for Outdoor Retreat. Uh, otherwise, we'll get right to it. All right, so first thing we're going to want to do is find our little uh, ranger station. So we'll just go zoom out again, like we always do, and we'll find the middle of the map, which is right here. And we got our visitor station right there. And we're going to go ahead and explore the woods. That's how we're going to get to our secret lot, because that is in the National Forest. And you're going to have to find like a little path, kind of like you do with the other secret lots, if you've already found those. And if you haven't and you're interested in finding them, go ahead and check out my other game guides. Uh, but we're going to go straight to Granite Falls Forest right here. And then once we get in there, we'll find you the easiest way to find it. With the forest being as big it is, as it is, it is kind of difficult to find, not as easy as some of the other secret lots. But you don't need any skills or anything to get through it. You just need to find it. All right, so once you get to the woods, the first thing I always like to do to find the secret entrance <clears throat> since the forest is so big, is to find the ranger station here. And we'll just get those walls all the way up so I can find this little pillar right here uh, for their little balcony. Now, if you zoom out a little bit and put that pillar right in the middle on the top, uh, what you want to do is go to the northwest, and that's where you're going to find the entrance. So we're going to go northwest here, and we're going to find these big boulders. And as you can see, there's a little hole right there, and that's our entrance. Uh, you don't want to look straight down at it, because if you do that, you're not going to be able to find the entrance. From this point of view, there, I mean, is this it right here? Yeah, that's it. But it's a lot more difficult to see. When you're at an angle, you can see this little entrance right there. So we're going to go ahead and have Bobby explore that. Now he's got a little bit of a walk to do, so we're going to go ahead and zoom this, or speed this up a little bit, and there he goes. All right, now he's going to go right inside, and we're going to explore that. And uh, first option is pretty step, uh, pretty straightforward. You're going to want to step forward. You don't want to retreat from the adventure. So let's go ahead and step forward. Uh, we can keep walking or fish. Pretty much anything that stops you or sends you back is going to be the wrong option if you want to get through to the hermit's house. But we're going to go ahead and keep walking. And we can take a nap or we can sally forth. Uh, one thing about the options is if you do take the wrong option, uh, you can get attacked by a bear, and that'll leave you pretty much with your needs depleted, and you're going to be feeling horrible for quite some time, as you would with any other bear. I have yet to hear of anybody dying from a bear attack, which is fortunate. Um, we do not see the bear attack, but he does come out pretty bad. All right, so here we are. Uh, we can either leave the Bramble Patch or travel towards the weird sim, a cove containing a mysterious sim. And that's going to be the Hermit. So we're going to go ahead and travel towards that sim. Do we want to go into the deep woods? Yes. So that's our secret lot. Um, it's known by the deep woods or the Hermit's house. Either way um, is good. And this should load up in just a moment. And all right, here we are in the Hermit's house. As we can see, there are some butterflies right there. So we can go ahead and collect those butterflies. Um, as with all the other secret lots, um, it is quite beautiful uh, while at the same time secluded. We have this masterful waterfall here which you can fish at and um, it's always ideal to fish at secret lots because they will usually have one of the fishes that are extremely rare to find but may be fairly popular in the secret lot. As for outdoor retreat, the new fish is the mountain lionfish. Uh, which is a lot more readily available here than it is anywhere else. I don't even know if you can get it anywhere else. But the big thing about this place is the hermit. Unlike the other secret lots, there is a sim that lives here. And if you bring a tent with you, which is ideal, I did not bring a tent with me. Um, you can actually spend the night here. I do not believe you can spend the night at the hermit's house. He wouldn't be very happy about that. But if you bring a tent and maybe even a stove, you could spend quite a lot of time here and get to know the hermit. As you can see, there are some uh, fairly popular herbs here. 
Uh, there is one herb that is really hard to find. And if you become friends with the hermit, uh, which is one reason why you might want to stay a few days is to become friends with the hermit. You can actually get one of the hardest to find or impossible to find herbs from the hermit himself or herself, whoever it may be. Um, but that's our secret lot, uh, the hermit's house. I hope that helps you in getting where you need to go in your game. And as always, have an amazingly fantastic day. Thanks for watching.